Amanda, thank you. 8.19 is the time right now. The city of Austin has picked three local artists to go to Spain and Japan this summer as our creative ambassadors, and it's meant to explore some new opportunities. So joining us are some of the ambassadors heading to Kyoto, Japan in just a few weeks from now. This is Alison Orr, the artistic director of uh, Forklift Dance Works, and Graham Reynolds over here, a composer, a band leader who creates, performs, and records music. Very creative, both of you. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. Good Tell morning. us a little bit about, good morning, a little bit about the work you're going to be doing in Kyoto, Allison. Well, I was asked to do a residency with the Kyoto Art Center, and um, they, they said to me, we want a community-based piece. We want something that involves people you don't typically think of as dancers. Yeah. Of course, I happen to then, what did I do, go to Wikipedia <laughs> and look up Kyoto, and believe it or not, they're the home to the women's, J Japan's Women's Professional Baseball League. That is so cool. And so I went in February for a planning visit, and the teens were very excited to really have somebody come and tell their story. So this performance will be in the Kyoto Stadium um, in September with the women professional baseball players. Wow, that yeah. is awesome. And how does it feel, like, Graham, to have your work on display over in, in Japan? Oh, it's exciting. It's, Austin's an easy place to represent. It's like one of the global cities of the moment, and then it's set in the Texas mythology that everyone knows, um, so I think they're going to expect us to ride up in horses, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure they're going to welcome you, and they already have you. Went to go visit, right, mm -hmm. Allison? Yes. Tell us a little bit um, about how you heard about the program and a little bit about Forklift, too. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, like I said, the Kyoto Arts Center was looking for a choreographer to do some community-based projects. Yeah. So we we talked and spoke, and they actually saw the film Trash Dance. Yes. Which is a, a credible local filmmaker Andrew Garrison made about a project that Graham and I did with the city sanitation department. That has gotten so many views, mm -hmm. um, and, and that the, they saw that video and said, "Hey, this, this is what we want to do." Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So that's very cool. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the trip, and I know you're going to be traveling. How long will you be there? Um, I'll be there for five weeks. Okay. And then Graham comes for the last kind of two weeks of the project. I get to be there for the work part. For the work part. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've been, you know, lining up rehearsals. The, you know, the women, are, I think, are, um, I met, when I met them in February, they're very um, gung-ho, excited, uh, characters themselves, and, of course, professional athletes. So it'll be a real honor, I think, to to work with them and to work with a sport that's an American sport, uh -huh. but is very much loved and, and people are very passionate about it in Japan. Well, we cannot wait to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here and best of luck Thank on you. the flight over there too. I know it's gonna be a long one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more news, weather and traffic.